Hi, welcome to the NTU Open House. My name is Kimberly Klein and I'm an associate professor in the School of Biological Sciences and I'm also the associate chair for students. And I'd like to tell you a little bit more about our biological sciences program. So we offer a, a direct honors program for all students that are admitted to the School of Biological Sciences. In addition, at the end of your first year, we offer an accelerated program to the top 10% of that cohort. In addition to that, we have a number of, of special aspects to our program, including an internship that's compulsory for all students in their third year, as well as the option to take a final year project in your fourth year. In addition to that, international exchange is available to all of our students, as is the option to take a minor in any discipline across any school or, or college at, at NTU. So as I mentioned, we have a direct honors program for our biological sciences degree. We off also offer a specific uh, biological sciences um, major with a business minor. In addition to that, we have three second majors that are available with our biological sciences degree. Those include medicinal chemistry and pharmacology, biomedical and structural biology, as well as food science and technology. We also have a double degree program where you earn a degree in biological sciences as well as a degree in Chinese medicine. And then finally, we have two double degree or double major programs. One is in biological sciences and psychology, and the other is in biomedical sciences and biobusiness. In addition, for students that are enrolled in one of these two double major programs, we have a very new NTU Duke NUS medicine pathway that's available to you. And so what happens is that if you're in one of these two double major programs, you can indicate your interest in this pathway. And su successful applicants will receive a conditional admission um, offer to the D Doctor of Medicine program at Duke NUS. And what's special about this pathway or this track is that there's specific coursework available and required of you, um, including things like a pre-medical module at Duke NUS as well as the availability of mentorship and a variety of enrichment programs held at Duke NUS that help prepare you for this track um, to pursue a medical degree down the road. So we have all of these programs and embedded with them is a fixed core curriculum where you learn all of the fundamentals that are essential to graduate with a degree in biological sciences. And these fundamentals then prepare you for a wide variety of electives that we offer to you that help you and make available to you the opportunity to really delve in and focus on the aspects of biological sciences that are most interesting to you. And so one of the things that's also embedded in our curriculum is a couple of learning and teaching mechanisms, including one called outcomes-based teaching and learning. And what we do here is we begin with the end in mind. We determine what we think is most important for you to learn from a given course or a module. And then we, we make the whole course, we design the course with those ends in mind and those outcomes in mind. So the teaching, the learning, the assessment, all will help you achieve these specific outcomes for those courses. And we achieve this through a variety of mechanisms. So we use smart classrooms like you can see here in this slide, um, where you work around a table with small groups and in close connection with the professors. We have recorded lectures so that you can learn at your own pace. We use flipped classrooms, we use blended learning, we use assessments and different kinds of exams to really help facilitate learning, and we give you a lot of feedback along the way so that you can constantly be reassessing and helping yourself um, learn as well. So in addition to this, we also have a very neat program that's only available at the School of Biological Sciences, and that's the Undergraduate Advanced Experimental Biology, or UAEB program. And so this is a really intensive one week course where th that's offered usually between um, in va vacation breaks or between terms. And we offer this in a variety of, of topics that are shown here on this slide. So in, in topics like immunology or histology or cancer biology or uh, the science of aging and a variety of topics. And you get really hands-on, intensive, focused experience and exposure to those areas of biological study. So other reasons that we think SBS is special and that you should choose this for your program include other opportunities outside of the classroom that are available. So I mentioned that an internship is compulsory aspect of the program. Everyone does this within their third year. And here's just an example of some of the places that our students have done internships. 
We have a dedicated office that is, their job is to help match you with internships that meet your needs and your interests. And so as a concrete example of some of the types of internships our students have done in the past, this is Ong Lee Rung. So she graduated last year and she did her internship abroad in Shanghai working for a company doing research and development in a chemistry lab. And after she graduated, she is now serving uh, a role in clinical research coordinator where she recruits subjects for clinical research projects and she f uh, participates in data collection from those research projects. In addition, Tan Kiang Boon graduated last year. He did his internship at AstraZeneca, and he's a unique example because he actually got a job offer at AstraZeneca, and he's working there now. And he works as a medical sales representative there. So he uh, manages key accounts and facilitates um, the selling of products to healthcare professionals. And then finally, Marco Lizwan. So he did an internship as well as an FYP um, in his time at, at SBS. And so in addition to his research FYP, he did his internship at, a, at HealthServe. And he specifically set this up. This was a self-identified um, internship. And he wanted to do this because this, he wanted to learn more about healthcare management and clinical operations. And so this enabled him to do that. And you can see him in this image on the job working at HealthServe. And so this internship and his FYP research project really prepared for him for what he went on to do after he graduated from SBS, and that was to enter the Doctor of Medicine program at Duke NUS. So in addition to these internships, as I mentioned, there's international exchange available to many of our students. And so you can see here just an example of the places that our students have done international exchanges. We have relationships with universities around the world um, to facilitate your placement at these exchanges. In addition, we have a very strong and dedicated alumni network. They come back to SBS and NTU regularly. Um, we have networking sessions, we have career information sessions, and this, is, this helps you figure out what sort of jobs are available to you and also helps you network with future colleagues and potentially future employees or employers. And finally, what do our students then do after they graduate from SBS? So about 10% uh, pursue postgraduate studies. About one in three end up working in the healthcare sector, and about 70% are actually working in biologically related jobs. And so, what do those include? Um, as I said, many are in the healthcare sector. Many also work in, um, in scientific industries and in R&D and biotech. There's also many that work in the government sector, in public administration, in defense, and a variety of other areas. So a degree in uh, biological sciences at SBS really prepares you for a wide variety of job opportunities. So what else do we offer at SBS? So one of the things that we think is really important is digital literacy. And this is really important um, in this fourth industrial revolution and beyond. And so you can hear more about our dig digital literacy program at SBS from Dr. Wilson Goh in another video. But what I can tell you is that this digital literacy is really embedded across our curriculum. There's some core courses that you take in, the, in your first year, but then there's more advanced courses available to you as electives as well. And so finally, you'll hear from a number of our students about what it's like to be a student at SBS. But there's a wide variety of, of, of opportunities available for you. We uh, hold things like a bi uh, SBS biohackathon, uh, SBS sports day for the athletically inclined, a youth program to Myanmar, as well as social uh, media interactive type activities. And one example of that is where our students can follow SBS professors for a day and, and report on this in social media and give this behind the scenes look of what it's like to be on the other side of, of the coin from a student at SBS. And finally, now you can hear more about what it's like to be a student at SBS from some of our student speakers. So you can hear from Ko Xiao Meng. He's a year two student, and he's going to tell you about how he was able to tailor his curriculum, curriculum at SBS to really specifically suit his needs and interests. You'll also hear about from Eldine Lim, who's the current president of the BS Club. And so she'll tell you more about student life and what it's like to be here as a student at SBS. You'll hear again from Tan Kian Boon, um, and he'll talk more about his internship experience at SBS. 
And then finally, Ng Aik Seng was a valedictorian at SBS last year. And he'll talk more about his research experience when he was a student here and how this has prepared him to go on to graduate work at Oxford. So thank you for joining us here today. We are really excited about our program here at SBS and we hope that you are too. And we really hope to see you in the fall as a student with us at the School of Biological Sciences.